Now, why was the T-10 the last Soviet heavy tank? Well, that's because there was no need for heavy tanks anymore. In the 1960s, the new concept of a main battle tank was developed in the Soviet Union, which saw the creation of a general purpose tank. So there was no separation needed anymore between light, medium and heavy tanks. Any further developments of the T-10 or any heavy tank series were cancelled in 1966. So the T-10 ended up being one of the tanks which never saw battle. After the introduction of the T-64, which had similar level of protection as well as a better main weapon at lower weight, the Soviets officially saw heavy tanks as just about useless and ended their production in favor of lighter vehicles. In the late 1960s, the independent tank battalions with heavy tanks were re-equipped with the higher technology T-64s and later with the T-80. Regular tank and mechanized units received the more basic T-55 and T-72s. The production of the T-10 officially stopped in 1966. Another reason why heavy tanks were not needed anymore was because the Soviet Union got to see the drawbacks of heavy tanks during the final push to Berlin during World War II, in which mechanized divisions widely split up because the slow heavy tanks lagged behind while the lighter and faster T-34s were already way ahead. Even though the Soviets got to see the disadvantages of heavy tanks, they continued to produce them for a few years as part of the Cold war arms race. But in the end, the T-62s took over the production lines as they were better than the T-10 as main battle tanks. Since there were no heavy tanks in use anymore, the Soviets needed a replacement for their long-range firepower on the battlefield, so they decided to start using anti-tank guided missiles or ATGMs.